For the third use case, we want to know the proportion of profitable days compared to unprofitable days. Specifically, we want to know the number of days that are profitable and number of days that are unprofitable. This could be through the weeks, through the months, or through the years. So we also want to take a look at the trend. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. I will put up a link in the card above and description down below. Let's start by looking at some of the details. Let's bring over our individual order dates. So right click drag onto rows, choosing discrete date. And we simply want to see the total profit for that day. So let's take profit and drag it to text. In here, we can see that some days are profitable where the profit is positive. We can also see some days that are not profitable, meaning the profit is negative. So we will create a regular calculated field first so that we know what it cannot accomplish. So let's create a calculated field. And this one is going to be profitable. And I'm just going to tag this as a regular calculation. So regular. In here, we can check if the sum of profit is greater than zero, then we can tag it as profitable. Otherwise, it is not profitable. Click OK. And let's see if this is right. So drag this over right beside our order date. And we can see it correctly tags the ones that have a negative profit as not profitable and the ones that have positive as profitable. However, what happens if we simply want to count the number of days that fall between these two categories or these two types? So in here, we can convert order date into the number of days. We can convert this into a measure. So on the drop down, under measure, count distinct. But we can see that it actually did not work. So let me just rearrange the pills. Because right now, the level of detail of our viz is at the overall level. There is nothing that slices our profitable or unprofitable anymore. There's no other discrete dimensions. And overall, everything is profitable. So let me just undo this. Let's go back to where we have our order date. In this example, I am going to create two calculated fields. The first one is a fixed level of detail expression that simply sums up the profit for a particular day. The second one is going to be a tag, and this one is going to be a regular calculated field that checks whether the value is positive or not. Let's create the fixed one first. Drop down, create calculated field. Let's call this profit per day, profit per day. And this is going to be fixed and it's going to be fixed to the order date. And our aggregation is the sum of profit. Click OK. Now, based on this calculated field, we will tag it as profitable or not profitable. So on the drop down, create calculated field. This is going to be profitable. And this is based on fixed. So we're simply going to check if our profit per day is greater than zero, then this is profitable. Else, not profitable. Let's clear our worksheet. And perhaps right now, we simply want to know overall how many days are profitable, how many days are not profitable. So we can drag this one over and we can count the number of days. So right click drag order date onto our columns and select count distinct of order date. So we can see in here that we have 247 days overall that are not profitable and the rest of the days are profitable. Let's just double check this so that we know we are getting the correct result. I'm going to create a brand new sheet that simply has details. Let's bring over our order date, right click drag order date. We're going to simply choose discrete. We're also going to display our profit. So drag profit over to where it says ABC. Let's also bring over our fixed LOD calculation just as a tag. Now, what I'd like to do is to bring over the previous worksheet and this new worksheet into a dashboard so that we can kind of just double check whether we have it correct or not. So create a brand new dashboard. Let's drag over our summary as well as our details. Now let's just simply double check what happens when we add a filter action. So click on the top part. In here, we are going to activate the filter action. And when we click on not profitable, we should see only unprofitable dates in our details. And in this case, 
it looks like it's correct. Let's check profitable. And again, it looks like it's correct. Let's try out one more thing. When we go to not profitable, let us sort this in descending fashion. So right click, descending fashion. And we are going to see that some of the records are actually zero. Now let's take a look at the profitable. And here, we're going to sort it the reverse way. Let's sort this in ascending fashion. And it looks pretty interesting because some of them are also zero. Now you may be thinking, this must be a bug, but the reality is it isn't. It's all about precision. So let us go back to this particular worksheet and we are going to change the precision that is being shown to maybe five decimal places. So under sum of profit, under format, we are going to change the numbers so that it is showing more decimal places. So on the drop down, currency, maybe five different decimal places. And let's take a look at our dashboard again. In here, we can see that the zero before is actually a positive number. It just happened to be rounded. Same thing with the not profitable. So let's try that out. Let's sort it descending. And we can see that majority of these are really in the negative area. The very first one, we probably need more decimal places, but ultimately it is going to be a negative number. So what else can we do with this particular example? Well, let's try out different kinds of charts. So in this case, maybe we can convert this into some kind of a line chart. I'm going to move the profitable field onto color. We're going to move count distinct onto rows, and we are going to bring over a continuous date. Right click drag order-date onto columns, and we are going to choose for now the continuous year, the continuous date value of year. Click OK. Now we can see the number of days. If we wanted to drill down, we can definitely drill down. Let's say from year, we want to see this breakdown by quarter. We can do that. If we want to see this breakdown by month, we can also do that. Now let's go back to year, and let's change this into a bar graph. So on the drop down for the marks, we are going to change from automatic to a bar. We can also add on a table calculation if we wanted to know the percent, the proportion of the profitable versus the non-profitable days. So on our count distinct order ID, clicking on the drop down, we can add a quick table calculation of percent of total, and we are going to run the percent of total for each year. So on the drop down, we are going to change the direction and the scope. So it's going to be compute using table down. And from here, we can also add this to the label if we want to. So control drag our pill onto label. So control drag onto label. And let's format this so that it doesn't have any decimal places. So on the drop down, format. And under numbers, under percentage, it's just going to be zero decimal places. Now let's drill down again. From year, we want to take a look at quarter. Then we can see the breakdown of the profitable and the not profitable.